Hi, John. Your new insurance client is nearby. You have time before your next meeting. Would you like to stop by? That sounds great. Please update my route. Hey, Ellie, something has come up and I need to find $10,000. I'm thinking of withdrawing that from my investments. What do you think? Do you mind if I ask what this money is for? Yeah, one of my relatives unfortunately had a car accident and needs help covering the medical bills. I'm sorry to hear that, John. Hopefully everything is okay. I'll pull up your financials and see what we can do. I'm glad you're not considering the credit card route with a high 19% interest rate. Now, looking at your investments, there are two options. Unfortunately, neither one looks great. So for registered retirement funds, there is an automatic 10% tax withholding. You'll need to set aside $2,200 to cover additional income taxes too. This will only leave you with $6,800. Plus, you'll miss out on 30 years of compounding interest, which totals $57,000. Wow, that option will not work for us. What do you suggest? Let's check your stocks. You've got enough shares here, but they are underperforming. To sell them now, you'd be taking a loss. Hmm, I don't really want to sell any of my share right now. You're right. These options don't look great. Question. Can the medical bill be paid in installments? Unfortunately not. I checked. Can your relative borrow money? No. They don't make enough income to qualify, and I'm their last option. I understand. This is a difficult situation. Our best option is to try and get you a short-term loan. You've got a great credit score, and interest rates are very favorable. Would you like me to set up a meeting with your financial advisor? Perfect. That sounds great. Don't worry, John. I'm confident you'll get the money to help them out. Thanks, Ellie.